Hello again, everybody. It's Harry Boxer, the technical trader at thetechtrader.com. These are the charts of the day, May 14th, a Tuesday. And um, the resilient market, we're still seeing a lot of stocks running. No sense on focusing on the shorts. There are some stocks that look negative, but at this point, until I see that break, I'm going to continue to look on the long side. And here we go. ECRX for the another junior biotech among several we're going to talk about today that had a big day. This one popped for 77 cents or 12% on half a million shares. That's not like a lot of volume, but you can see that's the best volume <clears throat> in four or five weeks. And more importantly, the top of the channel was thrusted to and slightly above. It's going to be interesting to see on a long-term chart here. And this is the post-IPO back in 2011. You can see we went through that and we're now accelerating. So my target now is eight and a half, then ten and three quarters. Egerion has been one of our swing trades and one of our favorites since it broke out in the October, November. You can see the beautiful channel up, consolidation pop wedge held above the uh, prior resistance becoming support, broke out, and it's running. Top of the channel at 50.51 is my target zone short term. This swing trade met our target today at 47, but I had raised it to 48 and a half, so we'll see what happens. <clears throat> Not that far from it. Alamara Sciences. Big move in the last two sessions, taking it from 3 to 4.90. Um, about a um, 55, 60% move. But the top of the channel, lateral resistance are here. So we could see the kind of spike and pullback we had here. <clears throat> and I'll be looking to see if that does that or whether it breaks through to our next target around 6 and 3 quarters. 6 and a half there about. CLDX. Swing trade here, ran up to near the reset. Resistance level and the target, and then backed off, tested the 50 for a couple of days, and snapped back. 1.3 million today, up 64 cents or 5%. You can take out the recent high up here around the 1409 level, and look for a target around 16 and a half. CZR put out as a swing trade today because of the pop and then the follow through. I still would love to see this declining top line and 1780 taken out, but take a look at the long term pattern here. If I don't miss my guess, the stock has designs on getting to the mid, maybe even high 20s at some point, but to keep tabs on it, for now my target's about 20. We'll see what happens. DDD. Well, new all-time highs today. You can see that the major channel up, which is broken with a 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 wave decline, then snap back. Uh, the declining top line moving averages were taken out with this. Well, one big surge here. You can see it led to this test, pullback. And then the explosive move trade. Now, at one point today was nearly 52 at 5194. It was three points off the high, still up $1.71, but it was up about four and three quarters at one point. So, not the greatest close. Buying was a whopping 13.4 million. It does have an 8.35 to 1 base to cover ratio, so it's quite heavily shorted. But at this point, if I step back and do a long term chart off of these highs, my target has to be. <clears throat> upwards of the mid 50s. Hymax, love that stock. You can see that the core that was forming today or wedge here popped out. Stock jumped 45 cents or 7%. 6.4 million, the biggest buy in five sessions. If I can just get over the spike high here that reversed at 710, we should see 7.5 and, and then 8 and 3 quarters. LGF Lionsgate's been a monster since the December period when it was ran from the mid teens to the 27 area today, reaching a new high, breaking out of this multi session flag um, and breaking up towards the run at the 28 and three quarters, 29 zone next. Mankind, one of our swing trades, looking very nice, rising in a channel very similar to RBLT and IMAX. We'll get to RBLT in a minute. Broke out two days ago and today and yesterday stalled in this zone. You can just get it up through resistance at about the one three quarter range. I'd be looking for a quick move to five and a half. <clears throat> um, MTG. Gut feel that this stock is about to come out of this consolidation and explode. You can see that the five day consolidation moved out of it today. 5% gain, 18 million shares. If we can just get a thrust through the spike high, which is 619, we're right up against it at 625 today, closing at 611. And then we're going to run this into 7.5 and 8.5. And Our VLT, similar to the HIMX and um, Mankind charts, 
you can see is beautifully stair stepped up today. We popped out of the foreign channel or wedge here. We popped 48 cents or 15 and a half percent, 1.4 million. That's the biggest volume a couple weeks. And if we can get this to extend past the highs around 408, there's a double top right there. And through this resistance zone, we may very well. See this one run up towards the five and a quarter range, my short term target. <clears throat> SGEN, for the last four sessions, has moved after particularly two days ago when it broke out here. You can see it's followed through and it's been up four days in a row. A dollar 23 or 3.3% today on <clears throat> two thirds of a million. Uh, looks to me like it wants to take out the highs and run up towards 42, my next trading target on Seattle Genetics. Beautiful long term chart. Look at that. Soda. Looking at this on a massive base, breakout, coiling consolidation, pop, retest, pop and retest again, holding moving average and trend lines. And then the nice move the last two sessions, taking it from 50 to 66. That's actually the last five sessions. And the one thing about it is I want you to note, the top of my parallel channel at 66 was met today. Love to see a pullback consolidation, but ultimately, 72 and 78.80 are my targets. TEAR, nice move today. The swing trade, which we originally gave you here at four and a half, three quarters, has run up to 9.37, doubling. But it cost you the last several months. Uh, you can see the consolidation flag that took place today. Our gap and ran up at all 38 or 17.34%, whopping 2.4 million. That's the biggest buy up all year for that stock. And I wouldn't be shocked to see this in 10 and three quarters, 11 short term. Threshold. Well, take a look at the base pattern after the disappointing gap down in September of last year, which basically broke the back of this consolidation. The stock came down to this gap and filled it and stalled. Over the last few months, it's built, built a nice base. The last few days, it's run up steadily. It's now up eight days in a row, but it broke out today by 1.4 million, up five and a quarter percent. So let's see if this gets a carry forward or installs near this key level of resistance and around. <clears throat> 595.6. Above that, it can run. Targeting 7.5 and 8.5. And <clears throat> THRX, one of our swing trades, has done great. Look at that explosive move in the last three days, particularly yesterday's breakaway gap. One negative that may be near the top of the short term channel if it does pull back and consolidate it here. Love to see that because the next move is 46 and then 50.51. And lastly, is TSRX. Also broke out of the wedge consolidation that's been in within the confines of the rising channel. I'm looking for some more upside now to take this to eight and three quarters. If you can get, if you can get through that, and you can see there's multiple tops up here at around nine, eight and three quarters, nine. So that would be a key test for the stock right up here. If you can get through that, you will see some really interesting long-term action because that'll be new all-time high territory. Good action on some of these biotechs, ACRX, AEGR, CLDX, Medkind is medical related, and then there's Seattle Genetics, TEAR, Threshold, and TH THRX, and TSRX, so more than half the list biotech once again. This is HP signing off. Good night, everybody.